coming up in Nine's Morning News, a shock cancer diagnosis for King Charles, what it means for the future of the monarchy. Murder charges and teenagers arrested after the death of a grandmother in a Queensland car park. The Reserve Bank tipped to keep rates on hold at its first meeting of this year. The search resumes for a missing Victorian woman. Vape seized in a huge Sydney police operation and the Frenchman behind this jaw-dropping stunt in Melbourne. The Morning News at 11.30. See you soon. This is Nine News with Davina Smith. Good morning. I'm going to take you straight to London where we've received the shock news today from the royal family that King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer and will begin treatment later today. Let's go live to our Europe correspondent, Edward Godfrey. Edward, the king had received treatment on his prostate, but the palace hasn't confirmed what type of cancer he has. Thank you. We will get the first rates announcement for the year in a few hours with a new look Reserve Bank aiming for more transparency in 2024. And our finance editor Chris Collar joins us now. Chris, big question, what can we expect? Davina, the cash rate is widely expected to remain on hold at 4.35% uh, today when we get that announcement at 2.30 Eastern time. Look, the, the economy is certainly improving. That all in a historic moment. Absolutely. Chris, thank you. Let's get a breaking news unfolding in Canberra right now. The Coalition has agreed to back Labor's overhaul of the stage retail tax cuts as Parliament returns for the first sitting day of the year. A federal politics reporter Eliza Redwoods is across all the details. Eliza, a busy day in the nation's capital. Sure is, Davina. The parliamentary year kicked off with a show of unity as MPs and senators gathered at a church service, but it didn't take long for the gloves to come the off. The phone was last pinged. No harness and scaling a high-rise building. The shocking, dangerous stunt in Melbourne CBD that you have to see to believe. Plus, explosive landing, startling footage shows a plane skidding across an icy runway with dozens on board. And stashed away in fake walls and hidden rooms, tens of thousands of illegal vapes seized in a major crackdown. A French travel blogger has been arrested after scaling a high-rise building in Melbourne. And Folia made it to the top of the 55-storey tower without a harness. Isabella Staskowski has more. When asked why he scaled this building, his response was simply, because I can. It has resulted in a haul worth $1.1 million. Coming up, the controversial new tax, seeing some Aussies having to fork out more to visit a doctor. And in sport, the Broncos confirm yet another long-term signing as they look to avenge their grand final heartbreak. Hundreds of GP clinics across Victoria are considering shutting up shop because of the Allen government's decision to force them to pay payroll tax. Sport News Now and the Brisbane Broncos have locked down another exciting prospect, re-signing young playmaker Ezra Mam to a mammoth five-year contract extension. Fresh off his grand... Stay with us. We'll have your weather details after the break. To the national weather forecast for you now, it'll be cloudy in Brisbane but humid, reaching 33 degrees. Showers for Sydney and becoming windy as well, 24. Rain all day for Canberra, 23 degrees. Grey skies in Melbourne and Hobart, 21 for both. 25 for Adelaide, Perth sunny and 32. Darwin dry after a morning storm and 33. Tomorrow wet in Brisbane and 32 degrees. More rain for Sydney but finding up for Canberra. Melbourne overcast, 23 degrees. Hobart, 22. Adelaide should be mostly fine, 27 degrees. Warm in Perth and 36 degrees. Darwin set for a top of 33 degrees with storms forecast. And that is Nine's Morning News. We'll be back at 4pm with your afternoon news. 5pm in Perth. I'm Devane Smith. Thanks for your company. See you soon.